On behalf of TVLesson.com, I'm Lori Wyman with Lori Wyman Casting, and I'm going to be bringing you audition tips today from my new book, The Organic Actor. Let's talk a little bit about websites for actors. Yes, that's right. Actors should have a website. If you don't own your name right now, as you're watching this right now, I want you to buy your name dot com. So if your name is Lori Wyman, well, I already have it, but you want to buy Lori Wyman dot com. If Lori Wyman dot com is already taken, you might want to buy Lori Wyman actor dot com. Actor Lori Wyman dot com. Maybe you have a middle initial. As soon as you finish watching this, you need to buy your name. You don't have to do anything with it just yet, but eventually what you will do is you will create a website for yourself as an actor. If you are a plumber, don't put your plumbing business on the same website as your acting business. And on that website will be your headshots, your acting resume, film and video clips that you have recorded, not a monologue, but video footage that you've actually been filmed for a movie, for a TV show, for a commercial, all of that will go on your website. Contact information, your agent's information, it's like an online resume. And I cannot tell you how many times I have conducted a casting session and when the actor is not able to be there in person, I direct the client to their website, they see it, they're impressed, they get booked. So don't think that just because you're an actor, you shouldn't also have a website.